took a 30 minute boat ride to the island Delos, considered the most important Panhellenic sanctuary. It is estimated that 30,000 people once lived on this island that is no larger than 5 kilometers long and 1 kilometer wide. When visiting Mykonos, you have a few options for daily excursions. Because Gats Travel knows best, they sent me to Delos for the day. Unfortunately, it's raining, but nonetheless, I still get to see some amazing things. According to mythology, Delos is the birthplace of Apollo and Artemis, leaving it to be a religious center of importance for the entire Greek world. Preservation and restoration is well maintained here, exemplifying the great history that is offered on the island. There are many Delian houses to observe coming from the 2nd century BC. Having the rooms arranged around an open square court surrounded by porticos which allow ventilation and illumination. Some of the more luxurious houses depict beautiful mosaics that give us a sense of past spiritual beliefs. There are over 100 noted historical sites to be seen here in Delos. From the Archaic, Classical, Hellenistic and Roman periods. The Minoan Fountain is a rectangular public well of the mid-6th century BC. Tightly laid courses of masonry form the walls and water can still be reached by the short flight of steps. famous Terrace of the Lions which were dedicated to Apollo by the people of Naxos. There were originally 9 to 12 marble guardian lions situated along the sacred way. On the island of Delos, be sure to stop for one of the best freshly squeezed orange juices.